Hi everyone and welcome to my weekend. This morning has been super busy because I've been moving loads of stuff around in the editing room, getting it ready to record this new video, hopefully recording next week. But now it's time to prepare the world's quickest lunch. And sometimes on a weekend, especially on a Saturday, because my daughter is at work, my son is doing his own thing, I tend to just prepare very quick lunches. And I don't know, it's probably not that healthy, but again, when I look at the ingredients of what I'm eating, it's probably not that unhealthy either. What I tend to do is have these sort of bread thins. Now they are brown, so they're sort of wholemeal, and the saturated fat content is only 0.2 grams per one of these. So I tend to have three of these. And I don't like butter. I don't know what it is about butter lately, but, well I say lately, probably the last three or four years, if I have margarine or butter on these, I put it on and then, as my mum says, I scrape it off again, so it's really not worth putting it on the bread in the first place. And with these, I shall have some Watsits. And again, the whole pack is only 0 0.7 grams of saturated fat. I don't think that's bad at all. And then accompanying this, I will have some fruit, just to give it that healthy kick. And that is my lunch. Now I think I opt for that sort of lunch purely because it is super easy to put together and I'm often so, so busy that I don't really want to spend time preparing much. Meal times in the evening, of course, I cook a proper meal, but for lunch, it's just something quick and easy. I went through a stage about, probably about four or five years ago, I started really concentrating on the content of the food, and especially like the fat and salt content, and that lunch I just put together, I don't think is that bad really, but when I started looking at the back of packets, especially at that saturated fat content. I've continued that at, at least for the last four or five years. And is it crazy? I don't know, you tell me. Do you check the contents of what you're eating or do you just grab whatever you fancy? I'm really very, very careful. Is that the comfiest position you could find, Milo? Hmm? You are staying so still again. You're doing that thing where you think I don't know that you're looking at me. Hmm. Okay, you stay in your comfy position. I've got some reading material for the weekend as well. Mac user, don't hate me guys. Just for the record, I do read both Mac user magazine and Mac format. Let me know your favourite magazines in the comments section below. Now because I am moving all the bits and pieces around in the editing room, the studio have got the bobbleheads back in. I think they look great at the back here. They'll only stay here though until I introduce a new screen to this desk. So it's now coming up to nine o'clock at night and it's still light outside. It's just so, so good having sort of this light weather late on at night. It really does make you stay awake a bit more. And I'm actually sitting here, drum roll please, ready for this, da -da 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 watching the World Cup again. Can't believe it, I've never watched so much football lately. If you've watched my videos for a long time, you'll know I'm not the biggest football fan, and I've ended up watching quite a lot of the World Cup matches. Even though my son's not here watching with me, I'm watching Germany versus Ghana, and it's nil-nil coming up to half time, so not a lot has happened. Um, I'm not concentrating on it all the time, to be fair. I've sort of got it on in the background, I'm sort of doing the odd bit on my iPad, but, I'm being converted into watching the World Cup. But anyway, it's been a good day. It's been a hot day. It's very, very humid and muggy at the moment. I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't have a thunderstorm a little bit later on. That would certainly freshen it up a bit if some, some rain came down. But yeah, it's just been a bit mm, not very, not pleasant heat today, put it that way. But anyway, looking forward to tomorrow because I've got the big announcement video planned for tomorrow and it will have already been seen by the time you're watching this so I hope you've all picked up on it and seen my big announcement so that's it for today I'll see you again tomorrow so it is now Sunday evening and yet again 
I'm going to apologize for not having picked up the camera all day. I just got so, so busy on a Sunday. Not all work, there was some play involved as well. But basically today was the rebranding of the Geek and Noise channel. And I'll talk to you about that in a little while because I want to save that until last. But we also had my mum round and we had a barbecue because the weather was so nice. And for once, the barbecue lit first time and we had things like burgers, hot dogs, sausages, garlic bread, salad. Nah, that's on video. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then fruit for dessert, which was really very, very nice. Got so hot though. It was so, so hot. But a very good day and good to spend some time with my mum as well. Now, back to the rebranding. Now, this video has already gone up on the channel. If you haven't seen it, then I will leave you a link to it in the video description. And basically, it's a new intro, new logo, new character for the channel as well. And just a, a new look and feel. That's what I was really aiming for with this rebranding. So no, no name change, but just a, a logo change and all the banners across all of my social networks have changed as well. But as I say, there is a link to that in the video description. What I wanted to address in this particular email was just to say a big, big thank you. I've had so many cool comments on YouTube and all of my social networks saying that you like the new rebranding and you think it was a good move and just really cool comments. So thank you. Thank you so much for that. It really is very, very humbling when you take the time out of your day to give me some feedback on something that I do. So I really do appreciate it. So anyway, that's it for this video. It's been a really nice weekend. I hope you all had a nice weekend too. I'm looking forward to what next week brings because it's going to bring with it plenty of opportunity and I've got so much recording to do, so a full on week next week. Thanks again, hit that like button if you've liked this video, drop me a comment as well. Of course, if you didn't like the video, you can hit the appropriate button, but give me some feedback if you can in the comments section below. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, there are two places you can find the subscribe button. On the main channel page, it's just up here in the top right hand corner. If you're on a video watch page, then you'll find it just underneath the video you've been watching. Click on the subscribe button and that means that you are now subscribed to the Geekanoids channel. But there is one more step you must take. Click on the little cog icon next to the subscribed button, put a tick in the send me updates box and click save. Job done. Thank you very much for watching again. I'll see you next time.